Hey there tubers, Redneck Brian here. As you can see I got a package in front of me that says do not bend. I know what this is, but I'm not going to show the other side because it has address information on it. So I figured I'll just flip it over and show you this side. This is my package from Bill's T-Max. Ironically, I was actually just going to email him today and find out when this was, when he shipped this out, but no need to do that, but I will email him just for the thanks and uh, and uh, and thank you again, Bill's T-Max. I'll say it right here in this video. So let's pull some stuff out. They seems like they did not bend it, which is good because it says do not bend. Here is my Rebel flag. Turned out very nice. I, I, I like the star in the middle. Thank you for that. Looks sweet. My big Rebel flag. I'm going to put all this back in here when I'm done showing it. So just to keep it protected and we'll put it somewhere in the corner where it will stay flat. There is a few other things in here. I actually had them add a couple extras. A couple extra things um, right at the end. So let me put the camera down. Put it on there. Something got stuck together. My numbers for my shift pattern got stuck together, but just the small ones. Probably won't use them. They're kind of ruined, but I'll use the mid-sized ones, most likely. Just try to carefully separate this so I don't wreck the number R for reverse. And that came off. Not a big deal. No, no, it's not a big deal. So the number, the letter R, just got stuck to the back of here. As you can see on here, it came apart a bit. Let me reflatten this out right here, so none of the other ones get messed up. So the ones up here, they're one inch, and these ones are half inch, and these are three quarters. Most likely use these ones here, because the R got messed up on this one here. So I'll probably use the mid-size, and I will just put them close together. Even put them sideways, because then when you're sitting on the tractor, you can see it sideways. Figure out something for that. And here is zero one should be another zero one in here. Get it out first. Actually, what's this? Just uh, uh, his business card. We'll look at it first, make sure there's no information on there I don't want anyone to see. Yeah, let's cover up the address. It's a Canadian flag and his business card. So my thumb's over the address. So And invoice. And I'm adding some instructions. Yeah. There's some instructions on how to stick them on. And uh, the second zero one. So, yeah. Got both zero ones. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, there's something right there. I believe this says, uh, yep, this says Bill's T Max. Check out on check out on Bill's T Max YouTube. I asked him for that. I guess he sends that to everybody. I don't know. I've never confirmed about that one. So, so yeah, let's leave that off to the side. Show you everything I got here, the instructions, 
business card, put that in there so I don't lose it. I'm going to put that up in my fridge. The numbers, you know, the one R did get ruined. Cause I don't know if I don't know if it was in from the mail or what happened with that. No big deal though. Put that up there. I got both zero ones. See, I did not want a general lease sticker because um, for copyright reasons. So, so yeah, that's why. Or I could use these small numbers and then use a big R. Use a bigger R for the reverse and then use the, the one through one through six for the years. And then just use the big R for reverse. I may do that. Unless I can salvage the R. Which I don't think I'll be able to. Nah, it's stuck on there pretty good. I'll try to get that off anyways. As you can see, it's stuck right there. And I'm not sure how this gets stuck on. I'll try to get that R off there at a later date and just discard it. And I'll probably use all these ones here. Sorry about that. So yeah, this will just peel off like this gently as you can see. I'm going to leave it all on here so nothing gets ruined in the meantime. So yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll use the small numbers and I'll use the big R. And I have to tell you, Bill's T-Max is very good on prices, very reasonable. All this including shipping was $40. So that's pretty darn good. So this was these. Here I gotta figure out which way the sticker goes. Go, I know it goes on to it, go on to it like this. Basically this is upside down. So it'll go on zero one. But I imagine Actually, I think it'll go on like that. So most likely, this is the sticky backing right here. Peel off this. I'll have to figure this out at a later date. So, so yeah, I'm with this. Peel it off very carefully because I only got one of them. I don't want to ruin that. And when I go to stick it on the tractor, I've got to be real careful of sticking that on. And I'll try and see about putting the, the YouTube Bills T Max straight on the back of the tractor. Hopefully I can put it on the back where the Craftsman label is. Sorry about that, excuse me. So thank you very much, Bills T-Max. Everyone check him out if you already haven't. Keep it redneck and uh, please subscribe and comment.